in this episode 2 of the Premiere Pro CC 2018 series that I'm working on I'm going to be showing you all about the basic layout started well by default after we've opened up our project uh, it is going to be displaying four main sections and uh, these are the four main windows which include uh, the program window uh, the source window project window and the timeline window and the shortcut for you to view these windows in full screen guys all you need to do is to press your mouse on top of any window and then press the tilde key uh, and for you to go back still you need to press the tilde key uh like you see all, all what you what you can do is to highlight any window and then still press the tilde key and for you to go back still press the tilde key guys uh, and so that's the shortcut for you guys to view the full window uh and so the next thing i'm going to be talking about is the workspace uh like you see uh premiere process 2018 has a number of workspaces uh, starting from assembly, editing, color, effects, audio, title, library, editing CS 5.5, graphics, and when you come here, still we have all panels, we have meta login, and you know, yeah. Uh, and just because Premiere has all these kind of workspaces guys it doesn't mean that you have to use all of them in your project uh, for my case in most cases I normally use one workspace and they and, and it's the editing workspace that I work in uh, for all my projects by the way uh, well for, the, for those of you who want to assemble your footage uh, you, you can come to the assembly workspace and then uh, for editing you come to the edit, editing workspace uh, to, for you to color grade your project this is where you're going to come and then for you to add in more effects in my project you come here titles for this uh, libraries this is where you can navigate for all your all your media within your project guys uh, and for those of you who are used to the CS5 point five workspace you can come to this um, but again it, you, I don't know if you can notice if you click on that kind of workspace uh, the tabs that were here representing our workspaces have disappeared and just in case you want to bring them back all you need to do is to come to the window workspace and then say all panels all panels will come back so yeah so let me go back to the editing workspace and let me talk about these tabs here uh, so this SS window will be for, for previewing your media in your project and then when it when you come to the effects uh, it will be a preview for all the effects that you're using in your project and then this will be the project well it looks like I have the project here and here so I don't want you to get confused uh, and when you click on these lines here guys uh, you get a number of options like the close panel and dock and the rest you can go through uh, but I wanted I want to show you this undock you can when you press on it you know you, you can now isolate this so that it's it's on its own and when you click somewhere here you can move this window to whatever window you feel so that you can join it with whatever window you feel like uh, and so let me take it back here this is where I want it uh, so this can help you to organize your workspace the way you want it guys uh, just in case you don't want uh, this effects control <coughs> tab here you can come here and dock and then after you you know you can move it wherever you want like you see I, I placed it here and when you come in between these you can adjust your workspace the way you want it uh, you can move your you can analyze your timeline window like you see uh, this one here is going to be your toolbar like you see it has various tools that you that are going to be helping you as you're doing your movie or video whatever it is that you're going to be working on and uh, right here this is going to be the middle level that that will be displaying at the levels of your audio within the project guys uh, by the way I didn't talk about the program window here uh, this is going to be displaying your movie it will be displaying whatever everything that you'll be working on it's going to be displayed here guys uh, and for the timeline this is where you're going to be working on your movie this is where you're going to make your cuts guys 
uh, and whatever cuts you make whatever changes you make here they're going to be displayed here in the program window guys and uh, for the effects uh, this is these are presets uh, now for presets presets these are like great that you save for later use so whatever whatever grid you save for later use it will be displayed within here like you see the number of presets that we've saved here that we normally use guys uh, and so yeah and then for the lumetri lumetri presets uh these are presets from speed grid uh they're from speed grid but within premiere so you can stay they'll help you to get a starting point for you to collaborate your project and then these are audio effects you can go through them uh, now these help us spice our audio within premiere pro uh, these are audio transitions uh, these are video effects uh, we all use this for editing guys you you can go through them individually uh, so the next thing that I want to talk about guys uh, is how to reset your workspace uh, just in case you 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 know disorganize your workspace uh, you can still come back here to window and then reset reset your workspace uh, but again you need to notice these guys all you need to know is that whatever workspace is highlighted uh, let me say if I'd highlighted the the color the color workspace like you see here it has a dot on it uh if and if it's the editing one if i come back here it has a dot on it so whatever workspace has a dot on it is the one that will be reset uh, let me give you an example let me disorganize everything here uh let me undo and Let me try to disorganize everything and show you what I'm talking about. So just in case I'm comfort, I'm uncomfortable with whatever I've done and I want to reset my workspace. So what I'll need to do is to come here, go to workspace and then, you know, editing is already highlighted. So I'll come here, reset self layout. So what it will do, it reset everything that it is supposed to be. Uh, and like you see I've reset it and it has displayed tabs that have not been displayed and I think I should go through them too guys uh, this audio clip mixer uh, whatever audio that will be within the project you'll uh, you'll be able to label it or you'll be able to monetize your audio from here from the audio clip mixer and then for the met metadata uh, it, it gives you the all information of all the footage that you have within 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 your project all the information you'll need to uh, that you'll need within your project will be displayed here in the metadata and yeah so when you come down here when you come to the media browser you can browse for your media from here guys uh we shall go in depth in our next episode we are going to be showing you how to import media into adobe premiere process 2018 and then for the libraries uh this one i won't talk much about it in four uh, these are not too important they shouldn't worry i don't use them often and uh, then for the markers uh for whatever mark you for whatever mark you you make on your timeline uh it will be displayed here the information about that marker or you know they can be notes they can it can be anything it can be any change that you want uh to be notified so when you make a marker on your timeline uh that information is going to be displayed here history or well, this is like the undo the undo thing that we all know uh what it does is to keep to keep all the history of everything you do so that just in case of anything you can come back here and look at the reference yeah uh, and just in case you want to create your own workspace uh, after you've organized the way you want you come to workspace here and, and then save save us new workspace uh, then from there you can give it a name uh, let me see and then from here you, you, you click ok so when we come back here like you see the workspace is here you get 
so you can click on it whenever you feel like whenever you want and just in case you want this workspace to be exported with your project just in case you're going to work on an, a different computer uh, you'll need to come down here and then say import workspace from projects so when you do let me come back here so like you see it is highlighted uh, so when you do check that uh, whenever you export your project on a different PC uh, it will open up in that same workspace and so you'll have no you'll have no trouble of you know re reorganizing the workspace the way you want it on that different PC and so uh, before I sign out uh, for those of you who haven't yet subscribed to my channel uh, please make sure you do and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications every time I'm going to be releasing a video and uh, just in case you've got anything valuable out of this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh share and share share this video i like it guys uh and if there's anything that you want me to present to you guys uh, feel free to comment below so yeah guys i think that's it for today <laughs>